All right, everyone. So today we're gonna work. Um, we're gonna explore a few ways how to pass De La Riva guard, one of the most common guard uh, the person on the bottom like to play. Okay, so it's very up to you if you want to expose your leg to allow the opponent connect De La Riva guard. Then you start your approach to pass the guard from that. Okay, uh, it's not the concept that I think would be the smartest one but it's all up to you i uh, will say sometimes i like to put the person that i have a garden and trying to work my pass from that but most of the times i work with my legs away and then not give me anything so it's a true different approach is uh, the first one will be you trying to learn how to pass from this position so you have to put yourself in that and the second approach where you don't give me anything will be at competition mindset where you don't give anything for your opponent and try to pass the guard okay so if you want to learn so that also is a very common as you see in academy people giving the leg and the person go connect the lahiva guard okay so we in the lahiva guard the first attack i like to do from this position here will be the smashing pass it's when i collapse his both legs together so but i need to be aware of a few things here if he's just controlling my trousers what is the attack my partner has from here just with the grip on the trousers he can put his legs together and kick me over his head to pick my other leg and finish the switch go ahead so to avoid this what i need to do if i push his legs between my legs i need to make sure i will hide my knee behind his knee and as well if he if he's really strong trying to kick me over i will try to find a way to pull my way back okay if you hold my this sleeve here, what he can do, he can omoplata, he can kick my knee and sit up. He can go for both sweeps stuff. If you hold my other sleeve, he can go for sit up guys as well, kick and sit up, get a sleeve and go for sweeps. So it's really important you anticipate yourself here, knowing those those potential attacks. Of course, there's many others, but more, more attacks you know more come from him, better will be for you to be able to avoid, okay? So what I like to do here, my toes pointing in this direction will be easier for him to kick and sit up. Good. If I turn my toes in this direction here, if you try and kick and sit up, I will be able to resist more. So I will be facing him in this direction and then trying to deal with the foot on my on my leg and the hook on the lever guard. So I like to lower my stance and push everything downward. Okay, and I will step close to him. Now my left hand i will hold the trousers my right hand i'm gonna hold the the collar okay if every time you're trying to hold your collar here to break your posture i would recommend you let it go and break and you're trying to approach hold again let it go and break never allow to hold your trousers because he's gonna kick you over your head and this is how he will start another one of those attacks he done before like he can kick me over and go for x x single guard okay so we're here in the distance, hold it, break. And now you need to be fast to hold the collar, hold the leg, or just slap. You don't even hold it. What I need to do now is open my knee. I will lower my stance and then push his knee to this side of my ribs. And what I want to do here, I want to drop my knee on top of, above his shin. A lot of people, they're trying to do this movement here. They won't be able to touch the knee on the ground because my leg is going on top of his thigh. What I need to do is, uh, on top of the shin even though he's holding my trousers here he's a safe position for me okay so we're here in this position you hold the collar break now hold the collar if you try to sit up as well that's why i'm holding this collar to push him and i tap look my right knee turn this left knee will connect under and i will drop by the end my head goes forward this grip here in the collar i will push myself forward connecting my head beside his head make him look to the other side my leg here now look the leg work base my right leg on the side and my left knee will try always bring his both knees close to my face that means i'm folding his legs on top of his arms okay one more time so first thing turn Deal with the problem, connect, break the grip, hold the collar, trousers, you cannot make a grip or just stop, but it's really important you 
Secure his leg here, walk to the side and start drop your right knee, in this case, on top of his shin. Okay, so I'm gonna go. One time. Also, this is a good drill to do to warm up. You're gonna go one, two. The commitment of you dropping your, re, your right knee on the ground is really important, okay? You don't have to worry about you hurt your knee on the mat. So as lo longer that I take to drop my knee on the mat, I give him time to react in it, make him feel off balance. So what I'm doing, one, drop and change and push my head forward to really fold his body in this position. I've got the left hand here on the collar and my head pushes his head the other way, okay? From here, I will move my left knee forward, one, two, and kick my right leg back right in the same spot where I'm leaning my left and pass the guard. If you try and turn to me because of this grip, so it would be hard for him. And then if you try to go the other side, I have back attacks. Okay, one more time. So one, two, make sure your toes point to your partner. If you hold the collar, break, collar, slap or walk to the side of on my ribs, your stance has to be very low, okay? If I'm high, I won't be able to do that. It will be my arm against his leg. His leg is way stronger than my arm. So what I'm gonna do, low my stance, drop my right knee on the ground, look at my left leg now, go to the back of his both legs, turn your hips. Push his face, I'm leaning forward. My head is not here because he's gonna push my head and hipscape. Hipscape? There we go. So if my head is forward, try to push my head now. We'll... Now my left hand will go one, two. Look at the right leg. Control the hip. Last time. You're right there, Yeah. <laughs> so, break, hold the collar. One, one, two jump to the other side. So from Nella Hiva guard, that's one position that I really recommend you guys try.